In this lecture, we will calculate the Laplace transform and region of convergence of unit ramp signal. So our time domain signal is RT, which is the representation of unit ramp signal. And we know unit ramp signal is equal to zero when t is negative or less than zero and it is equal to t when t is positive and equal to zero. There is one more way to define the unit ramp signal. When you multiply the unit step signal ut by t, you will have the unit ramp signal. And also you will get unit ramp signal when you integrate the unit step signal. Now to calculate the Laplace transform, you can use one out of three definitions, but we will use the third definition because we know the Laplace transform and the region of convergence of unit step signal. And we also know the integration in time property of Laplace transform. So let's obtain the Laplace transform of RT. And remember, we are calculating the bilateral Laplace transform. Therefore, we will use the integration in time property of bilateral Laplace transform. But first, I will write down the Laplace transform of unit step signal. We have already calculated the Laplace transform of unit step signal. It is equal to 1 over s and the region of convergence is real part of variable s greater than 0. Now we will integrate ut from minus infinity to t and to differentiate between this t and the variable t we will replace t by tau. So in this way we have signal u tau and we will integrate it from minus infinity to t with respect to tau and we know the integration in time property of bilateral Laplace transform. Whenever you integrate the time domain signal, the corresponding Laplace transform, which is 1 over s in this case, will get divided by the variable s. So we are getting 1 over s square as the Laplace transform of integration of u tau. And it is nothing but our RAM signal. So the ramp signal is having the Laplace transform 1 over s square. Now what about region of convergence? We know after performing the integration, the region of convergence is r intersection real part of s greater than 0, where r is the region of convergence of the Laplace transform of this time domain signal and in our case the region of convergence of this Laplace transform is equal to real part of s greater than 0. So in place of r we will have real part of s greater than 0 intersection real part of s real part of s greater than 0. So you can see that we are performing the intersection operation of two same regions and in this scenario we are going to get the same region. So we will have the final ROC equal to real part of s greater than 0. So we have now calculated the Laplace transform and the region of convergence of the unit ramp signal. The Laplace transform is equal to 1 over s square and region of convergence is real part of s greater than 0. And you can see one thing here. The region of convergence we are having is same as the region of convergence we have in case of unit step signal. Now I will give you some important results and to have this results we will use this definition of unit ram signal RT we can write as T multiplied to UT so T multiplied to UT is having the Laplace transform 1 over S square 
and ROC is real part of S greater than zero. Now let's say two here is N. This makes one as N minus one, or we can say N minus one's factorial. And the power of T is equal to one. Here we are having the power of T equal to one. This makes power as N minus one. So finally, we are going to have the generalized result as t power n minus 1 multiplied to ut will have the Laplace transform n minus 1's factorial divided by s power n and the region of convergence will remain as it is. Now I will give you the next important result. If we have negative of t power n minus 1 multiplied to u minus t, then we will have the same Laplace transform that is n minus 1's factorial divided by s power n. n minus 1's factorial divided by s power n, but the region of convergence will change in this scenario, and this time the region of convergence is real part of s less than 0. Here we had real part of s greater than 0, but now we have real part of s less than 0. So remember, the two results, they are the generalized results and are very useful while solving the questions. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.